uh, flyweight, but he's but he's slight. He has a body. Is a thick little guy. He has a body that that could end his career probably at 135. Yeah, and there's the counter left took by Donaire a moment ago. Donaire thinks he can go all the way up to 135 pounds. He may well be able to do that. And already he's landing his signature punch, which is the counter left hook. He has as powerful a left hook as you're going to see in these lower weight classes. Just ask Victor Chinian about that. Uh, one of my favorite moments of last year in boxing when the, he, he got to bully the bully and uh, knocked him out with that famous left hook of his, and, and that was uh, that was sweet to see. <laughs> well, it was a, a, a certainly an intriguing fight, and uh, Donaire fought very well throughout those initial rounds and then landed that monstrous left hook. Beautiful body nice shot, which hurt Concepcion. Yes. You saw him wince. You saw him wince, and he grasped, put his elbow right to that body shot, and he followed up with a big right hand. Got that, most definitely. We saw when you fought Brian in the Philippines and won the title against Ulysses Solis, Donaire fought Raul Martinez, and he was Donaire the power puncher that night. That's who he is tonight. What a nice hook to the body. Didn't even set it up with a jab. He's so accurate. Yeah, he's special. I'm excited to uh, be here and get to witness him. In the fight against uh, Raul Martinez, he, he was able to land a leading uppercut, left uppercut that floored wow. Martinez down in that fight, which is really, really hard punch to throw. Because it leaves it susceptible to a, a hook or a right. Right. It's a very dangerous hard punch at a wild. He can get away with that. It's a lot of... So a very difficult ability. first round for Rafael Concepcion, to say the least, against Bonito Donaire. As we follow Donaire back into his corner, June Ledesma will be the... will translate for us. It's good, it's good. It's good. Uh, the domination is good. The combination is good. Job, job, job first. Okay. 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 Saying that he got hurt with the question. Go straight right. Come up with the left uppercut. Concepcion's corner is asking. We head into round number two. You heard Jonathan Penalosa remind Donaire to jab. That's their mission in the corner because he can land all those big power punches without throwing jabs. In round one, all 11 of the 22 punches Donaire landed were power shots. He never landed one jab because he can make it happen without the jab, but the Penalosas believe in that jab, and they think that's ultimately what will make him uh, a superstar in boxing and make him, they think, virtually unbeatable. Penalosa's building quite a name for themselves as trainers as well. Yeah, of course, Jerry Penalosa, the, the, the former... Uh, champion uh Dodie the brother also a former champion and yes they are they're a great crew Rafael's uh face is falling up a little bit under his left eye perhaps from the right hand or uppercut that's been landing from from Nonito part of the reason Donaire hasn't thrown too many jabs is when Concepcion kind of rushes in Donaire is able to land that counter left hook he's got such good feet moves good foot movement wow look at the power on that left hook He's got such great awareness, and, and his footwork is just excellent in, in his distance. He's really for a special fighter. For Concepcion, he is trying to make something happen offensively without getting hit with one of those big shots. And uh, this 27-year-old felt that his power would make a difference with Donaire against him. So far, he's not had a chance to really land something meaningful. Beautiful right hand. Right hand. Donaire attacking very patiently, but with power. And there is that swelling underneath the left eye of Concepcion. Concepcion not really cutting the ring off, just He's kind of not. following Donaire around. Trying to land those body shots for a much big tighter right, cut. Big, big right, right hand. By, soon. Wow, though, a big right hand landed by Concepcion, two of them. But Donaire doesn't buckle and comes back with his own big punch. So Concepcion's corner right in telling him to land the right hand. 
Well, that's what you have to do against a left-hander. It's, it's, it was sort of bizarre to see him land two straight clean ones. He landed two good ones against the ropes against Donaire. And Donito able to take those. Some redness now around that left eye of Rafael Concepcion. A big hook by Concepcion! Wow! That hurt him. That's backtracked him. That hurt yeah, That's done Donaire momentarily. Donito Donaire became the puncher and paid the price for it. They traded left hooks and Concepcion's was harder. And there's a cut underneath the left eye of Concepcion. And those extra pounds showing a little bit as far as the strength. Four pounds might not, might, might not seem much to a lot of people, but in these lower yeah, weight classes, lower weight class, it, it means a, a much of a big difference. And that right cheekbone is swelling for Nonito Donaire, so things have shifted dramatically here in the second round. There's wow. Flowing out of uh, Rafael Concepcion's left eye. You need to get a lot closer to land those big shots. You need to get a lot closer. Attack him more. Here we're taking a look back at Rafael Conception landing a big right hand. Coming back and a lot of great combinations, Rafael. Stunning Donito Donaire for a little bit. Big right hand by Concepcion. Two big right hands and a big left hook. The weight really telling the difference looking. And then with a nice flurry from Benito Donaire, followed by a solid left hook by Concepcion. Well, round two changed the complexion of this fight, that's for sure. We Let's got see. a fight now. Al. Yeah, we sure <laughs> do. Let's see if Donaire will accept the advice of the Penalosas and jab and maybe be a little more of a boxer puncher instead of just a puncher. Donaire out through two rounds has outlanded Concepcion, 27 punches to 10, but in the last round, the punches that mattered toward the end came from Concepcion. You know, he had such success in that first round, he hurt him with such a great body shot, and I haven't seen him go back to the body since, though. Some work to the gloves by Vic Draculich. Well, we saw in the piece before the fight, and there's another hook landed by Concepcion that he thought he could hurt Nonito Donaire. And he certainly got his attention. There's, and there's a, a swelling on the right cheekbone of Donaire from that last left hook that landed. Now Donaire using all of this ring, using the jab to kind of poke out there. Being very smart, going back to some boxing, counter-punching opportunities, or trying to create them. Using his reach a little bit more in this round. Boxing has been this way in the last couple of years. Surprise after surprise. And while Donaire completely dominated round one, Concepcion came back with some dramatic punches and has changed the tone of this fight a bit. Good uppercut by Donaire. The uppercuts, the left hooks, and the body shots are very impressive by Donaire. Donaire using all of this ring now, trying to, still not landing the jab very effectively, but using it as at least a range finder. Concepcion not cutting the ring off, and that is to his detriment. And a lot of redness, and maybe even some blood around the left eye of Rafael Concepcion. It, should, it will be interesting to see if that cut over his left eye will bother him in the later rounds. Rafael trains at Gleason's Gym, the venerable gym in Brooklyn, New York. So many champions have trained at. Won his last two fights. What a slip there by Rafael. Inviting target, that bloody eye. It is. 